To set up a new property, go to your dashboard and click on the My Properties tab. If you've just signed up with Bookerville, this should be the page you end up on. Click on the Add New Property Unit button at the bottom. This takes you to the Property Setup page to set up a new property. Notice the tabs across the top of the page. The pop-up notice is telling you that you can't access those tabs until you enter some basic information about the property first and save that information. After that, you'll be able to click on the other tabs to configure more settings. Start by giving your property a name. It can be anything you want, but it's best to keep it simple and recognizable by customers. Note that you can change any of these items later. If you have a home page, website, blog, Facebook page, or a HomeAway or VRBO or similar listing for your property, you can enter the URL for it into the property website URL. This will be displayed to visitors on your public availability and booking request calendar. Enter the address information for the property. Enter the owner indicative information if you want. This is optional, but may come in handy for some of Bookerville's features. Sensitive property and owner information is kept strictly confidential in Bookerville and is not displayed to anyone. You can change the defaults for the check-in and check-out times. If you want to keep your property private, uncheck this box. If you leave it checked, Bookerville may display your property in public listing services to help generate sales leads. Notice the orange What's This links. These appear all over the Bookerville site. Clicking on them provides a pop-up window with an explanation of the feature. Be sure to read these as they can help you understand the features of Bookerville. This next section lets you control who can use your public calendar to make booking requests. By default, Bookerville permits anyone to use your public calendar. You can change this to permit only the email addresses listed in your allow list to use the public calendar. If you choose this option, be sure to enter your permitted email addresses, one line at a time, into the allow list box. Alternatively, you can use the block list option. This will allow any email addresses to use your public calendar except those listed in the block list box. Note you cannot use the allow list and block list at the same time. The contract arrival and departure instruction templates cannot be updated until this new property is saved and they are covered in another video. You can choose to run your public calendar in one of two modes, guest-centric or manager-centric. In guest-centric mode, guests can make bookings directly on your public calendar and this will cause Bookerville to automatically generate and send certain of your email templates. Most property managers require a prepayment of some kind when using guest-centric mode. We'll talk about prepayments in another video. In manager-centric mode, guests cannot make bookings appear on your calendar. They can still use the calendar to price out stays, but when they choose to request the dates, it is turned into a booking request and is not placed on the calendar. You will receive an email alerting you to the new booking request with a link to your Outstanding Booking Requests page, which shows any booking request you have for this property. From the Outstanding Booking Requests page, you can easily see all the information for each request and whether or not the request overlaps any other existing bookings. You can turn any booking request into an actual booking with the click of a button. You can also discard them. The next section allows you to tell Bookerville to require your guests to click a checkbox that they agree to your terms and conditions before booking or requesting on your public calendar. You must provide a URL to your Terms and Conditions page if you choose this option. This is where we're going to stop in this video. We have entered enough information to save the property, so click the Save This Property button at either the top or bottom of the page. A pop-up confirms that the changes have been made and that we can now access the rest of the tabs and features on this page. Those features are covered in other videos, so please be sure to watch them. In the meantime, your property is set up and you can begin entering bookings or letting your guests make requests using the public availability and booking calendar. You can now obtain the URL to your public calendar from the public availability and booking calendar URL box. Click inside this box once and the URL will be highlighted automatically. And you can use Control-C to copy it 
and then control V to paste it wherever you want, including emails, your property's website, blog, or Facebook page, or an external listing site like HomeAway or VRBO. Thanks for watching.